Hi, I'm Lindsay Wendt, and I am doing AT&T in their campaign, It Can Wait. This is for Mass Communications on 650. So about AT&T. Um, AT&T is an American multinational telecommunications corporation, and it's headquartered in Dallas, Texas. Um, it is the second largest provider next to Verizon for um, cell phones, and it is the largest provider for landlines. AT&T was ranked number 12 on the 2015 rankings for the world's most valuable brands and is said to be worth $173 billion. So the premise, um, AT&T's It Can Wait campaign was put in place to raise awareness about texting and driving. And then this was taken straight from the PDF about the campaign that I found. It says, texting while driving is estimated to be involved in 200 thousand plus vehicle crashes in 2012, often involving injuries and deaths. That's why AT&T is committed to putting an end to, to texting and driving. They're focused on educating the public, especially teens, on the dangers of texting and driving. Uh, no text is worth a life, so it can wait. About the campaign, it was launched in 2010. Um, it's still going today with uh, 7,940,816 people who have already pledged not to text and drive. Um, because of this, AT&T launched their drive mode application to help curb the urge to text and drive by silencing message alerts and applying automatically um, to let friends and family know that they're busy and can't respond. And then social media has been getting the word out. Uh, this includes celebrity endorsement with like Sofia Vergara and Ryan Seacrest. So social media platforms, um, through these platforms AT&T is already reaching um, Instagram. They have 66.8 thousand followers, uh, 5.9 million page likes for Facebook. Twitter has 744.3 thousand followers and then 92.2 thousand subscribers for YouTube. So there's some examples here for YouTube. And it's the link. There it goes. So this is a 30 second video. Uh, the other one's six minutes. It's really good, but we'll watch this one real quick. So that's the video. Um, there's a link in my references to the full video, which just kind of shows how they got there before the crash. Also, there's a link to this video over here. It's called Fletcher's Drive, and these are both for the campaign. It can wait. Um, this video is just talking about a boy who worked so hard to get into or get accepted to play football at college, and he finally did. And then he got in a car accident where the other driver was actually texting, and so it just showed his life changed because of that. So there's a link to that too. All right. So then other examples besides YouTube include Twitter. Um, here I posted. Uh, this is straight from the AT&T website. Uh, it's just a bunch of celebrities who are tweeting, they're supporting, and they're tweeting at It Can Wait. So, uh, why this campaign? Why did I choose to do this? Um, I thought it seemed like a great issue to discuss. I personally have never had anything like this, like an accident or anything happen to me, or, you know, had someone close to me who was in an accident related to texting and driving. But I'll say that I am actually guilty of doing it myself, and I've been meaning to stop because I do know and understand the dangers of it. So while I was researching this project, I decided uh, myself that I was going to take the pledge and no longer text and drive. And so then I encourage others to as well. So this is just kind of a recap here. So for the results, we have six years later after the campaign launched, it's still going strong. There's the nearly 7.95 million people who are pledged not to text and drive. Um, it's gained a lot of support from many celebrities. 
and then it's also been very successful in raising awareness about the dangers of texting and driving, I feel like. Now we have a couple multiple choice questions. What year did AT&T start their campaign, It Can Wait? Your choices are 2009, 2010, 2012, and 2015. And then second question, what application did AT&T launch as part of this campaign? There's the Drive app, Safely Go app, Drive Scribe app, or the Safest Driving app. So then, here's the answers. Um, so 2010 is your answer for that one. And then, what app did it launch? Drive Mode app would be the answer for that. And then finally, here's my list of references. I took almost everything straight from either uh, AT&T or like their itcanwait.com. They have a website for that. So I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Thank you.